Welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic uh, and Best Car Fixes. Thank you for being at my platform and I really appreciate your support. Uh, in a previous video, part one, Mini Cooper BMW key uh, made on bench. Now we are on the next level. We already, I give you the example of the cast module, cast two, cast one, cast three, how you prepare the key and when the car is not there. Here, as you see, I already take the cast out. I look at the wiring diagram. You can take this wiring diagram as a guideline in the future. You see the wire that I soldered it. All the wire was easy to do except except the, the black wire here. In between these two, it gives me a hard time, this one. But all the others one, there is a space and you have to use a solder like a pen. You see here? And the cable, I'm using a Maxi 6 and as I told you, there is a lot of tools there to do the programming. And the cable is APA106 Hotel. I connect my USB cable from here to the lab to the programmer there. Um, and this is the wire that you need to do. You have yellow, black. There is one black, one red. They're sitting on the other side. You see that place? You see? You can look at it slowly. In between the two resistors, there is one wire, and that one connected to the resistors. Okay. And we have the blue one also to the end of the resistor. And here the yellow, this one here. Okay. So after that, you connect. This is a cast 3. After I connect this one here, I connect it to the programmer XP400 USB to the cable there. Now I'm gonna go to immobilizer. You have to accept it. It could be as long as the CAS 3, the CAS 3 is go to a lot of cars. It work into a, a lot of cars. So BMW, you can go to BMW and you can get the same um, CAS module or anything there, the same CAS 3. But I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. Emo. Here is BMW. I will, I will go out escape. I will exit that. I will go here. And I will write MI. NI Mini because this car is 2008 to 2013 Mini it will ask you to connect the VCI but you can say just OK and leave it because it think that you want to communicate with the car in here you have to be careful go to system selection because each place it have its own way on the system system collection uh, system selection go to immobilizer On immobilizer, by the way, to solder this wire, get a good tools with a good heat, you know, like this one here. And I was using this one. And this one also could be big sometime, the pin. I have one here, it broke, but this could be very good ideal. I'm going to try to set it up or I have to order one. And the temperature, you can make it 600. You can go farther to seven to eight. Also, on the on the wire itself, try to put a little bit of solder on. Don't forget to put that thing. What they call it? Flux or something like that. or some. I I don't know what is the name. Honestly, just I know that it is good for soldering and it helps cleaning. Now you come here. Leave EWS, leave e F E F E M, those for the newer cars. Go to immobilizer cars three, cars three plus. This one here, 
this merge of this here i spoke to i spoke about it this is k3 if you look at it in the corner here it's a k3 here. now let's go quick i'm gonna go to ecu information again say okay if you need to know about it you can click here and open it it will give you almost all the information about uh, what you need to do you see and the cars you know what car it is but go out of here okay close this click here also here can give you information how you solder the wires okay you see when you open this or you go further you're gonna see the module and you're gonna see the place where the wire are connected you see here you're gonna see it there okay I'm gonna close this one here and where I'm gonna go I will go to read Abram now it will detect the module if everything is okay it will start reading it just like that you see now the only thing you want to be you want to be careful about it is to spend good time slowly solder it do not hurry you want to save the customer key okay this the apron file you know i don't have anything but here is the apron file uh, name that you're gonna name it. I will go back Aprom was successfully It's been done here Okay, I don't know I don't even write anything but it's supposed to be this Aprom. I have only one that's the first time I do this one honestly You gotta go back Read flash too so you have two reading, two writing. Read flash. Maybe this is good when you need to change the cast module, maybe. Maybe. I'm reading the flash. Take your time. Hopefully no mistake. If it read the EPROM, does mean it will read the flash. There are some company that after you read the Abram, you take the Abram and you open it into Tango. But I don't want to confuse you. This is a different. You can There is a lot of way of programming. Every company, each company have its own way of programming. So now I'm going to wait for my uh, my D flash to come. I'm going to. Do not try to, you know, like, go crazy with it. And definitely, whenever you need to get the the, 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 the the data or the program, it is like that. And it is also for the all BMW with a CAS. Just consider the CAS. CAS 3, CAS 2, CAS 1, CAS 3 plus. You're good to go. Now I am 60%. Hopefully the video is clear. Please subscribe, share, and like. And you see, you have here also a place for reading APROMs. What I consider, if you are a technician, spend a, spend a time, play with it. Play with it and do your own recording, keep it. Yes, why not? That's the only thing that you get the result and test and go ahead with it. By doing this, you can do any BMW, any Mercedes, any Land Rover, EWS, all this stuff by reading soldering. You have one laptop, okay, you see here, this is the first one, K3 Aprom, you see EE, -E, Aprom. I didn't do anything because I don't have anything, but I can rename it again. This is a flash. I just click save. I save both of them. Thank you, guys. Now, what, what the next, you're going to say, okay. The next is, you go out of here completely, escape it, 
Okay, do you want to click this again? Click it again. No, go back. Go back. Now go to key operation. Key operation. Key operation. You see, you, you are here. Don't do this. Go back. Go to key operation. Key learning. Make a key with the file. OBDT learning is different. Make a key with the file. You are not in this one. You are 0L15Y, 0M23S. Those are the computers. Click OK. Going to load Ibram. Which one you want to load? Do not go to Flash. F-L-A-S-H. No. Go to EE Ibram. Click here. Are you sure you want to select CAS? Ibram file say yes. This is the one. VIN, you already have the VIN, and also the good news, you have the key code. So please try to take a picture because you need to, here's the key code, you need to choose it to cut it. Okay, what the next? Say okay. Mechanical key code. Even the SCN, you have the SCN here. You see, this is the SCN. You, if you are able to write, if the computer, if you are able to read the SCN from here, if you are not able to read the SCN from uh, the engine computer, or if you need to change the engine computer, sometimes you need to write the SCN from the engine computer to the new, uh, from the new use engine computer to the CAS, but it have its own way. Say okay. Now he opened to you the, the key files. You see, key 9 enable, 9 enable, 7, 7, 7, 7. Those are already, they have ID. So you're going to choose one. But I got to go choose from the bottom, number 10. I'm going to take my key. I will put my key here. This key before, I'm going to show you something. This key, you have to test it and to be unlocked. Don't just go put a lock key and you will not be able to do anything. Maybe the battery is weak, but you're going to get this key, say, unlocked. It's not, it's not locked. You can read it, you can test it also with the tooth. So I'm going to put my key here. And I will write it. I'm going to say write a key. You see? Click OK. Is this car a smart key or semi-smart? This is semi-smart. The smart key, you don't need to put it into the slot. It's just fully smart in your pocket. So click smart key. Please connect the device to the programmer. Put the key into uh, the programmer card slot. Okay, I put it in. Say okay. Wait, wait, wait. You see here? He is blinking. Generating dealer key failed. Please check the key statue. Okay, I'm going to put it back again like this. And then say okay. Write a key, semi key, I will say OK. If it fell, please save the new APRAM and file press echo to continue. That's it. So now, this file that's here is already written here, and you can save it. This time I will put, you see, Ibram modified. Okay. Modified. So I'm going to say, you know, modified is modified. So save. So I have three files. File successfully. Uh, there. Do you need anything else? No. 
خلاص فينيش ديلر كي ميك اوكي بليز يوز ذا نيو كي تو ستارت ذا انجن اف فيل يو شود فلاش ذا نيو كاس ابرون فايل اف ات فيل يو شود فلاش ذا نيو كاس ابرون فايل انتو ذا كاس سيستم So now, on this place, I'm not sure. The car is not here. Do we need to flash the new EEPROM file into the car one time? The car is overseas? Or do I have to leave it like this? I am going to leave everything like this. Uh, uh, I will call hotel and I will ask them, do I have to write it back or not? If they say yes, I will write it back. Still, I'm going to leave everything like this. If you say no, you don't need to write it. Case closed. Okay, say thank you. And skip. 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 Thank you for watching Mobile Electronic. Please subscribe, share, and like. And if you think it is, we have to write down the file back, I will be happy to <clears throat> to do it. And uh, I will I will listen to your advice also. This platform, best car fixes, is for all of us to go towards the better step. I remember when I did this one with Tango, I save the file and I write back the file into the CAS. Thank you for watching Mobile Electronic. Please subscribe and share and like. And see you in another video.